Hi everyone, Coach Steve here and the video blog for week beginning 5th of September 2022. Um, all right, so I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, just looking through some of my emails and updates on Facebook, a lot of Smarties did. We had a couple of people getting PBs at arm distance, a couple of people breaking their duck at arm distance, a couple of age group podiums. So brilliant and congratulations to everyone. Delighted to see it. So updates for myself, coaching wise, really exciting news here at Smart Journey Solutions as I am now in the final stages of hiring two assistant coaches. Um, yep, I've been a one man band for the last ooh, uh, 10 years, but I've got to the point where I, I need a bit of help. Um, I'm also smart enough to know that uh, my expertise lies in certain distances, primarily, and if I, there's other guys who I've been working with who will actually be a little bit smarter and more in depth at other distances, a short distance, Olympic sprint, um, to a certain extent, some iron distance levels. So I'm talking to two coaches um, specifically to bring them on board, get them underneath the uh, Smart Endurance Solutions methodology and principles, train the absolute life out of them and make them my minions. Of course, I don't call, them, I call it minions in the discussions, but it's going to be great. It means that I'll be able to reach a lot more athletes and I'll be able to focus on some of the other mini projects and um, looking forward to it. The other item that uh, that's going to be keeping me up all nice for the next few weeks, which is really good news for the athletes, is Training Peaks have confirmed the release of structured swim workouts. So essentially, when you go into your pool set, that when you press on your Garmin, the, the watch tells you exactly what my swim session is, which is fabulous for you guys. It's also dreadful for me because I have somewhat, uh, probably around 700 triathlon plans of which all those swim sessions now have to be converted into structured workouts. So myself and a couple of the interns are gonna be burning the midnight oil in the next couple of weeks, but we'll get there we'll, uh, and we'll fire through as many of them as possible. And um, again, Long term, it's gonna be great for you guys. It means that it's more simple. You don't need to bring down a print off of the set, the pool, etc. So I'm happy for you. Okay, and um, other items. My YouTube project is still gathering momentum. I have bought new equipment. What do we do when we want to improve? We buy things. I bought a new mic, of which I found I don't have the right cable. So I have to, so no mic on me yet, but my audio will so improve. And um, I've also invested in the video editor because over my years of experience, I know that they're smarter, better people at certain things than me. So I've actually brought on board a video editor. So you'll see not in the video vlogs because I need them to be quick and sharp. Um, but for the other uh, videos, my Thursday um, tips and t hints uh, videos and my kind of Friday equipment reviews, you'll see a little bit more pizzazz and they look a bit more polished. Check out for, keep an eye out for Thursday. That's gonna be a good one. And um, it's on sleep and how to improve it. And uh, I've, it looks pretty cool. Um, so, and also I'm just, I'm still only at 730 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I wanna get the numbers up. If you're finding it useful, ping onto your triathlon mates, to, uh, tell your club mates, get them subscribe. Um, it'll be, the more the, more the merrier. Um, and as I said, I plan to put a lot into this. I'm hoping to get more people on it, uh, board so I can reach more people and I can help them out with more tips and, uh, and hints, etc., and help you all get faster. So get your friends on board. Um, me personally, training wise, um, knee is still behaving itself, which is great. A couple of long cycles, a long, a long run. Um, and also a cool long swim this weekend where um, the Open Water, Leinster Open Water Swim Club put on this big swim day of which one part was a 3.9 K swim in Glendalough Lake. Now Glendalough is a beautiful part of the country, only 20 minutes drive from my new house. So off I went and uh, swam in this beautiful pristine lake. Water was calm, water uh, it was lovely and warm actually. And then um, we had around, I think 400 people swimming. Great wetsuit practice, great uh, drafting practice, great sighting practice of which I've learned I'm dreadful at. I'm gonna blame it on goggles and I would spend more money on goggles. Always can buy a new problem, uh, solve a problem by buying things. So, um, but again, great training. The, 
At the moment, as I said, confident with the knee, so the training volume for me is gonna go up 12 to 14 hours. I do need to keep an eye on the, the knee, having said that, so I've got a sports massage this weekend, this week. I tend to get them in every second or third week. Um, sports massages are not like, as my mother used to think, that's very nice, you're treating yourself. No, sports massages tend to be a little bit sore, but that's because they're just unwinding the tight muscles and you will feel the benefits from loosens later on. Get one in your either recovery week or every uh, uh, second or third week, depending on your frequency. And talk to your friends and your clubmates about who are the good sports masseuses out there. And um, once you do find one, hold on, they're like gold dust. I also, as I said, increasing the volume, a tip for yourselves and for myself, I try to get more good quality sleep. The body's gonna be tired. Check out the video on Thursday on how to improve your sleep. See the, the tie in. Yeah, I need to be a bit more seamless on that. Um, also working on getting good nutritious food in, the body will need sort of um, protein and sort of uh, so, uh, vitamins and minerals to help rebuild all the muscles that I'm sort of beating up, but hoping to come back stronger. Um, I'm not great at that, but I'm getting better. Okay, so that's that for the week. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, do keep an eye out for the, the video this Thursday, and I'm gonna do an equipment review on Friday. Um, it'll look well slick because someone else is doing it. And um, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Who, who wants to miss out on this good stuff? Have a good week, guys.